Hi guys, my name is Manjunath and welcome back to my channel and in this video we are going to set up layout as promised in last video. So setting up layout is very easy in Next.js. You just have to create another component. Let's just name it as layout.js and same as always just type export default function and let's name it as layout of course whatever the name which we have written here for component we have to write it here and once this particular thing is ready just return it with the some div just type div here and i am using some extension you just have to type it again in if in yours it's not coming so this particular file will just include and we'll just create it as a layout but actually if you see it this particular file won't be used anywhere we want to create one layout and more than like explaining it how it is how it's going to go and showing it i'll just create it then i'll just explain like how does it work so you remove this particular file and don't keep it in keep anything here and i am using react feature now so if you know react you know obviously what i am doing but if you don't know still it's fine i'll explain it so just create one curly braces here and type children and whatever the thing you have written that is children here same thing we have to write it here it's very simple react is not tough so once we have created this particular file done you, we are not going to touch it at the moment it will work whatever we have created and let's just go to index.js and remove header from here and again same way we have to type here layout it will auto import it don't think from where it is coming or like that because we just have created it here and once we created it we are just importing it here and we are going to wrap all the things which are there in home page inside this particular component that is layout component and you are looking at it correctly we have written layout here and inside that we have created h1 and we have written hello world and if we come here and if we see in this particular page that is localhost slash 3000 we'll just see hello world there is no header or anything like that but we can go here that is layout and we can import here that header if we import header in this particular file now see the magic here there is header it's not coming okay here we have to save it okay now header is coming it's very useful for us to put all kind of navigation stuff in this particular file so that's why we can go to contact page and we are going to repeat same thing and we'll remove this particular layout and let's just type it properly sometimes all these kind of things won't work so you have to manually type it and about page also let's just type layout okay so we have created this particular layout and in all pages we can see it now so now the thing is uh, we have set up layout uh, and everything is connected to that layout file uh, so no matter where you are going uh, maybe contact page uh, you can see header present uh, even though we didn't have we don't have any kind of header in this particular page uh, but this layout is there right it's actually getting the header from this particular files header here and now let's just try to add some styles and uh, let's just put navigation link in the top we are going to use bootstrap in this particular project so just go to google and type bootstrap and uh, 
whatever the first website that is getbootstrap.com we are going to use it and once website is open we just have to scroll down little bit and here it's written css only we copy it and we go to vs code and just try to understand if you are used to using bootstrap you know we have to put it in head tag and if you are seeing it properly there is no head tag in this particular page so best thing you can do is uh, you can put it somewhere here but it's going to generate error uh, because it doesn't have this particular thing and all but anyways once we pasted this particular thing uh, it might work uh, but that's actually not the best way of putting it uh, best way of putting is uh, is to import something called as head don't type it in small letter type it in capital letter and it will import it from next slash head so just enter it and and let's create one proper tag if i can create it okay this is the head tag and just paste it over here and once you have pasted it over here this particular uh, just make sure import head from next slash head is written also if it is not auto imported once you have pasted this particular link in here it's going to make sure bootstrap is present in all pages like in this particular page bootstrap is present and once bootstrap is present we can use it in order to use bootstrap we have to copy paste certain things so let's just go to docs and just copy paste one simple nav bar and we have to find simple nav bar finding simple nav bar is also one of the tasks okay this nav bar looks fine just navigate to bootstrap website exactly like how i did and you should be good to go and in header page let's just paste it and once we have pasted it it's going to display one navigation here so now we have to go here and we have to we'll just do some styling next js project okay you can name whatever the project name you want to type and home about and contact three pages we are having here and let's just remove this particular thing i'll be putting the link to github in this particular uh, description uh, so you can like copy paste from there also teaching bootstrap is not intention here uh, just uh, getting you get started with next year's is so home about and contact now the most important thing that is how do you actually navigate if you think that if we just type uh, here uh, href and if you type slash here uh, and in here if you type uh, slash about uh, and in here if we type contact uh, that's going to be enough and we can work with it yeah that's fine it works it will go to about page and it will go to contact page and again if you go to it will go to home page just but just see here when we click on about you can see one loading icon in here that means page is getting refreshed when we are using something like nextjs or react we need to make sure page doesn't refresh because that's the whole point of using this particular framework so in order to make sure that page is not being refreshed we have to use something called as nextjs link so using nextjs link is easy just cut it don't delete it just cut it and type link as always it will give us the suggestion if it is not giving the suggestion just type it after you just write it okay and in here import link from next slash link is written and paste whatever you have cutted it and you just have to move this particular href to here okay same thing let's just copy paste it entire li i am going to copy paste again and in this particular file we are going to create about 
and it will go to about sorry i think i have done mistake this href should go to the newly tag which we have created that's link and let me just put it in link tag and same goes here also href should be gone to here and let's just change it to contact page slash contact and save it once you have saved it now just see it magically goes to another page and you can't see any kind of refresh in this particular thing that is in here you won't see any kind of reloading icon so page is so faster and that's the main benefit of using nestjs or anything and this is very simple project whatever the existing html css project you have you can convert it into nextjs easily by following this particular tutorial that's it for this video guys in next video we are going to deploy this particular project actual web server so that's it for this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video bye bye